Welcome back, Southwest Florida. Ah, oh, it is an event of magnitude. Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated for uh, Collier County Alumni Chapter has done Southwest Florida proud. We have here right now the beautiful ladies in their hats, the chairman and the co-chair are just, just people who did stuff. We got it all on Lee Pitts Live. It's going to be on television in big, in big order, but let's get a chance to meet the hardworking ladies behind the scene. Let's get your full name and look right into that camera and tell us your role tonight and how you felt about the event. Absolutely. My name is Dina Liston. I'm a member of the Carter County Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, and I'm the co-chair of this event. And this event is a fundraiser, and it was actually the idea of Thelma and our president, uh, Christine Rawlings. And when they asked me to be a part of it, I couldn't turn it down. That's great. Now, when you, right now, things are winding down, you feel that relief of it's over, <laughs> all the logistics that you were trying to get involved with, now you can sit back and enjoy it a little bit. Uh, now that it's over and you got a chance to witness and be a part of such a magnificent affair, can you promise me right now that we're going to do this again next year? Absolutely. This was the first, but definitely not the last. We got some interviews and some comments from the honorees. They all seem to be thrilled about this event. Let's get your full name and talk about how you feel about tonight as the chairman of this event. I am Thelma Johnson. Doctor, right? Dr. Thelma Johnson. Remember you told, I mean, on TV, I talked to you. Before. All right. Well, I'm Dr. Thelma Johnson, and I am so happy to have been a part of our inaugural production or attitude. I do hope that we will be able to continue this and to be able to recognize the great work of women in Southwest Florida and at the same time raise funds for us to carry on all the projects that we do in public service for Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. I can't think of a better event for you guys to continue to do. People are going to come out, like I was saying earlier in some other interviews, uh, this is just going to grow. People are going to see it on television and realize they missed it. And this, this, this little small place is not going to be able to hold this in the future. Uh, tell us about uh, uh, the speech. You got a chance to hear the speech and uh, from a great speaker. Tell everybody who our speaker was and, and how you got to know her. Sharon Hunter Gold was our speaker. I got to know her through a friendship and a place where we live called Martha's Vineyard. But she is a remarkable woman, and if, if you did not hear her speech, who is committed to the uplifting of all people, and she is so involved with her uh, stance on civil rights. But what I like about her, she says that we have to put on the honor of our value of ourselves, and she asked us women today to think of ourselves as queen when we are called unsavory names. <laughs> okay, tell us about the hat, where you got it from, and also let us know if people who didn't attend but watch this on television want to continue to support Delta Sigma Theta, can they buy a hat as well? Well, we will only be selling hats today, but they can go to the Hats Meow, which is at the uh, flea market at uh, Fort Myers, and go Ooh. to the Hats Meow. And In fact, my hat was purchased at the Hats Meow, and they have a lovely selection of hats, and you can get the hats there. Great. Now tell us about you. You're from a, a different generation, so to speak, where... You know, I don't know if you grew up wearing hats like our moms did and everything, but what was it like for the young generation to get to sport these uh, elegant hats and uh, show some class? Oh, I think it was wonderful. It's definitely all the time, especially at church. Um, but also, one of our um, one of our past presidents, Dorothy Height, wore hats all the time. So I think it's a, a lovely reflection on her for women to a hat to one of them. For some of the response you people who are here today about this event and about having an opportunity to wear those hats. People have to dress up and it's such an opportunity. Most of all is that and I think that the words resonate very we have been using that really think that we'll see more people next year. That's great. It was a nice turnout as far as I was concerned. It looked like it was packed. But I know you guys are counting those dollars and cents. And you got to make a profit. And you got a lot of it. But uh, tell, us about, tell me about when you stand up there on that stage. You're looking out there at all those people. You know one day in the meeting, you thought about it. You put it out there. Let's do a hat or two. And then the concepts start coming into reality. And then you stand on that stage and you look out there and you, the, the reality, the, 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 the concept became a reality. I said, thank you. 
<laughs> because sometimes you have a seed of an idea and you plan it and you're not sure that the vision is going to catch on with others, but I think it caught on. And I think, um, for an example, Susan McManus, who was a, a honoree, she said, you know, I don't wear hats. She says, but this feels real good. Mm -hmm. And I said, do you have a hat too? She said, yes, I got a hat too. And you had a great culturally diverse group of people that came out. Don't you look at this camera as you're talking. Uh, people came from all over, your sorority sisters, fraternities, and non-Delta, non, you know, just everybody came out and support all races and ages. Uh, is that the, the vision you guys hoped for, and, and, and did you feel a realization of that? Oh, absolutely. Our goal with this event was always to have a very diverse crowd, and we started that with the selection of our honorees. We wanted all women who would support our program, so I think we really reflected that today. Okay, and uh, let's make sure you guys pay homage to some of your sponsors, and don't forget to mention Lee Pitts Live. Go ahead and pay homage to some of the sponsors on TV. Um, I would like to thank um, Novello Concrete and Reynolds. Of course, we had a lots of Diamond sponsors, a lot of our chapter members sponsored. Lee Pitts Live was our media sponsor. <laughs> there you go. We've been very fortunate. Great. Anybody else that we leave out, or you can just say Lee Pitts Live again? It's live. <laughs> Again. This is Flint. I cannot forget them because they are dear friends of ours who just gave us their sponsorship without attendance, and we love them for that. We are so happy that Hodges University was willing to be a sponsor and have us in this lovely facility. Excellent. Did it the fact that Lee happened to be red and white? <laughs> that worked out very well. In class with your, with your class with your staff? Not at all. When we chose that, we never knew that one day we'd be facing the stages of a Delta Live is to have opportunity to support Delta Sigma Theta sorority throughout Southwest Florida here in Carter County as well as in Lee County. They put on a spectacular event. It was something to behold. If you missed it, you missed it. We'll see you next week right here on Winning Lee Piss Live. Ladies, do that little woo thing before going out there. Well, do your diamond thing. Do your diamond thing. Oh, that's the way it works. Oh, you can't do it at all official events? Well, y'all got a whole lot of rules and regulation. <laughs> For those who say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those. The lovely lady, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, who put on an event for the ages. You missed it. You missed it. We'll see you next week.